Hi, welcome to this example on probability density functions. Basically we've been given a random variable x has a probability density function. The function f of x, the probability density function, comes in several parts. It's uh, for values of x between and including minus 1 to 1. We've got it defined as 1 7th of 4 minus 3x squared and between 1 and 2 inclusive we've got 1 7th and it's 0 otherwise. And what we've got to do is sketch the probability density function and find the probability that x is less than or equal to 0 and also the probability that x lies between 0.5 and 1.5. Okay so let's start by sketching the PDF. Now because of lack of space here, what I'll do is sketch the PDF up here. So we need some axes, so we'll just put uh, the f of x axis here. Put it now on the top there. Um, and we'll have the random variable x along the horizontal one. Remember, PDFs are never negative. Okay, they'll never go below the x axis. So uh, this should do us. We've got the values of x going from minus 1, so we'll take that as minus 1, then going to 1 here, and then in the next section going from 1 to 2. So we'll take those points on the x-axis. Now, outside the range from minus 1 to 2, f of x is always 0, so we would have the graph going along like that and like that. It would go on to infinity and go out here to negative infinity. Okay, so let's have a look at the graph. Let's start with the easiest part. Let's say this one here, 1 7th. 1 7th when x lies between 1 and 2. Well, if I imagine that this point here on the f of x axis is say 1 7th, let's just mark that off as 1 7th, then over the interval 1 to 2 we're going to have a horizontal line something like that. Now what happens between minus 1 and 1? Well what we've got here is a negative x squared graph. Negative x squared graphs are parabolas, upside down parabolas, something like this. Um, and it's going to be symmetrical about the f of x axis here and if x is 0 it's going to go through 4 sevenths. So we'll pretend then that this is 4 sevenths. As I say it's not drawn to scale but uh, let's imagine that that's 4 sevenths. We know we've got an upside down parabola. Let's see what we value we've got when x is 1. When x is 1, we've got 4 take away 3, which is 1. 1 times the 7th is the 7th. So it's actually going to join this point here. What happens when it's minus 1? Well, by the symmetry, it should be also back at 1 7th, but you can check it out if you like. Substitute minus 1 in here, you're going to get 4 minus 3 times plus 1. So we've got 4 minus 3, which is 1. 1 times the 7th is 1 7th, so that's right. So it's going to be here. So we've got a parabola coming up through here and back down over to here. Not particularly well drawn, but hopefully you get the idea. So, what happens from here to here? Well, what you could do if you like is drop a dotted line down to there and then a dotted line down to there. You don't have to do that. But then, this is now our probability density function, a sketch of it of f of x. Okay, so let's move on now and have a look at answering these probability questions. So in the first one then, we've got to work out the probability that x is less than or equal to zero. And that is given by an area. And that area is going to be this one here, which I'll just shade 
for you. Okay, it's going to be that area in there. The probability that x is less than or equal to zero. Okay, let's mark in that that is the point zero. All right. Now then, so how are we going to do this? Well, being under the curve, I've got to integrate. All right. Okay, it's the area under the curve, so it's the integral of f of x with respect to x. So it's the integral of this function here because it's this part of the curve that lies in the interval from minus 1 to 0. I can put the 1 7th, the constant outside, okay, the integral. You don't have to do that, but it means there's less clutter inside. So we integrate f of x with respect to x, going between minus 1 to 0. So if we integrate this, the integral of 4 is going to be 4x and the integral of minus 3x squared is going to be minus x cubed. And that's going between minus 1 and 0. So all we need to do is put the limits in starting with 0. If you put 0 through here you're going to get 0. So I'll just mark that in as 0. Then we need to subtract what we get when we put minus 1 through. 4 times minus 1, well that's going to be minus 4. And then if we cube minus 1, we're going to have negative 1. And then we've got this minus here, so that's plus 1. All right. And if we work this out, you should find that you get 3 sevenths. So there we go. That's the probability that x is less than or equal to 0, 3 sevenths. That's given by that area there. OK, well, let's uh, move on to the next part of the question. We've got another probability to work out. Let's remove this shaded area here. So we'll take that out. We've got to work out then the probability that x lies between 0.5, so less than or equal to 0.5, and at the same time below 1.5. So let's shade this area on the probability density function. 0.5, well let's take that as 0.5 and we'll take this part here as 1.5. So the area that we want lies between here and here. Now part of the area is under the curve and part of the area is under this straight line here. So I can look at this in two parts. Okay, I can work out this area under the straight line, the horizontal line, and I can work out this area under the curve and add the two together. Now the area under the curve is going to be given by the integral. The integral of the function f of x, and that will be this part, between 0.5 and 1. So we'll put that in here, we'll take the constant out, 1 7th, the integral of f of x, which is the 1 7th 4 minus 3x squared, integrated with respect to x, going from 0.5 a half, if you like, up to 1. And then I need to add on to this the area of this part here, the area underneath this horizontal straight line. Well, I could integrate the 1 7th between 1 and 1.5, but that's a bit over the top when this is a simple geometrical shape, that of a rectangle. So that is going to be given by the height times the width here, so that would be 1 7th times a half. 1 7th times a half is going to be 1 14th, so that's the area of the rectangle, 1 7th times a half. OK, we'll just move this over just slightly so I've got a little bit more room, and we've got now equals 1 7th then 
multiplied by the integral of 4 minus 3x squared. Well, we did that over here. It was 4x minus x cubed. And that is going between 1 half and 1. And then we've got the plus 1 14th year of the rectangle on the end. OK, all we need to do now is just substitute our limits in. So we've got 1 7th multiplied by, well, 4 times 1 is 4, and take away 1 cubed, so that's 1. 4 take away 1 is 3. And then we've got minus, and if we put a half through, we've got 4 times a half, which is 2. And a half cubed is 1 8th, so we've got 2 minus 1 8th. OK, and then plus 1 14th. And if you work that out, you should find you get 1356. You can check that out on the calculator if you like. OK, so that shows you, hopefully, how we work out probabilities, especially when they are over two sections of a probability density function. So, hope you've got that. And that brings us now to the end of this example.